But the real clincher for me is the soft tissue they found in dinosaur bones. Over just the last few decades, scientists have been discovering soft tissue in dinosaur bones. And I'm not talking about creationist publications. I'm talking about over 50 peer-reviewed secular science journals that have now reported 14 bioorganic materials found in dinosaur bones. They're finding blood cells, blood vessels, connective tissue, and even collagen, which has a maximum shelf life of just tens of thousands of years, with some stretching it out to 900,000 years. Either way, with a maximum shelf life of less than 1 million years, what's collagen doing in dinosaur bones that are supposedly 65 million years old? Many dinosaur bones are even found unfossilized in places like Madagascar, Alaska, and Montana. Even the founder of the largest dinosaur museum in the world admitted that usually most of the original bone is still present in a dinosaur fossil. I mean, just look at how stretchy and pliable this dinosaur bone is. It sure doesn't look like a 65 million year old rock to me. You've made your points, so nicely done. Um, I bet the seal of the deal would be nice for a creationist to find a living dinosaur somewhere <laughs> in the swamp in the Congo. Actually, I think that what we've covered is even better than discovering a living dinosaur somewhere. And why is that? Well, if someone found a living dinosaur, it would be easy for evolutionists to explain it away. They would just say that evolution was idle for eons. They've already done this many times when so-called living fossils are found. Like this live coelacanth someone hauled up in a fishing net off Madagascar in 1938. Before they found it alive, coelacanths were considered a key missing link between fish and amphibians, dating back to the time of dinosaurs and beyond. So the reason that the discovery of dinosaur biomolecules, cells, and tissues is even better than finding a live dinosaur is that the laws of chemistry hold evolutionists accountable for claiming either that thermodynamics, the process by which tissues break down, were idle for eons, or even more far out, that the bioorganic materials are not even there. But because we know these bioorganic materials were present when they were living, and we still have them now, leaves undeniable evidence for Noah's flood staring the world right in the face. Christina, you've given me a lot to think about.